Hey, hey, it's Flay, and you're watching Flay TV, the ultimate YouTube channel. I'm no cinema photographer, just a dude with a camera. Anyways, back to the yuccas. Since they are producing so many, I thought I would show you how I pulled the baby pups off of these. Look, here's another one right here. So, we're going to root these. Super simple and foolproof method. Stay tuned. Since my yuccas are still producing so many babies and it's getting toward the end of the summer, I'm going to go ahead and pick off all these babies and I'm going to put them into a jar just like so and I will trim the bottoms off a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to propagate these to create roots as we are doing with the yucca stumps. Next, what you want to do is you want to pull off, starting with the lowest one down, is you want to pull all of these as many as possible as you can see that I'm doing here The reason why I'm trying to come up with so many of these yuccas is my daughter's boyfriend has a piece of property out in the high desert of California and there's nothing growing on there. Maybe, a, you know, one or two little scruffs or something, but I figured if I get these rooted, I'll get them into pots and I'll grow them in the shade for a whole season and try and get them root bound in the pots, then they'll get a good start. And if I plant them during the winter, they might take. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put these, a couple of small ones. So I'm just gonna put these in a couple of jars, just like so. And I'm going to fill the jars up full of water. And now I've added just a couple of inches of water on the bottom. I don't want these to get waterlogged too much, so I'll keep an eye on them. And I'll change water every three or four days. And we will come back every couple of weeks and take a look at the roots and give you guys an update. So hang in there. Thanks for watching. And just for the fun of it, I'm going to pop off a couple more of these pups, like so. And then I'm going to put them into a mixture of peat, moss, and garden soil, like so. You don't need to be too careful. It's pretty simple. Put it right in there. And then I'm going to get it really moist, and I'm going to keep it moist and try and keep it out of this hot sun and come back in just a couple of weeks. It's October 8th, and here is the results. So it's about six weeks with the pups just in water. And as you can see, there's no roots whatsoever. We had a little bit of rot, and I lost a couple of these. You'll know, like, see right there, you can see this head's getting ready to pop off. That one's, that one's history there. Okay, but here's the same thing in dirt, which blows my mind because... With as hot as it is in California, and they must have dried out a few times, it's the same thing. This is six weeks stuffed in the dirt right there. One in the jar, one in the dirt. So the easiest way, like I had thought before, just 
pop them off and stick them in the dirt and they will root fast, trouble free. You can even put multiple in a pot like I did and you'll have multiple roots. Pull them out after a couple of weeks. All right, anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Oh, wait, I got one more thing to show you. What actually works the fastest is leaving these things in here. As you saw on the 20th of September, I took off a couple of these that were growing and look how much this has grown in this five week period. I mean, that's ready to plant. There's a couple of them like that. And if I go to one of my other trees, the same thing. They are just growing fast. It's crazy. And we'll call this the end of the video. So this is the one I just plucked off. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in dirt and I'm gonna get the rest of these potted into individual pots because they're ready to go. And these, I'm gonna put all of these in this dirt and come back in you know, a couple of months and see how those are growing. Anyways, I hope you guys like these videos. As you can tell, I love yuccas, one of my favorite all time plants. So I'm always playing with them, especially this time of year when they're producing. So do me a favor, please share this video with any of your other horticulture type of friends. Go ahead and give me a like, thumbs up, put your comments below. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. And you can find me on Instagram at Filet TV channel. Hey, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.